Once upon a time, uh, I played a game on uh, original PlayStation 1, uh, which was called Twisted Metal 2. I played so much this game, it basically became back then like my childhood game to play. I think maybe I was like 5 years old, I remember it vividly though, like uh, pretty well what I was playing as. I was playing as the guy that he like uh, sh shoots out like a beam under him, like he is trapped in like two track wheels or whatever. It's kind of like... and. The game was really pixelated, like there were homing missiles, like some machine guns, like fa flamethrowers. Uh, I, I, I miss this kind of games though, like really um, just pure fuckery. <laughs> and today we'll be trying out Deathlap, which is so reminiscent of that, that I just have to like try it out pretty much. Uh, today also is the Arizona Sunshine uh, release, but I mean for for many reasons I don't really see that game like really appealing for me. I don't know why. There are like many layers uh, to that. There's a layer of a price point, of graphics, of uh, the game that was developed because it's an old game. Like there are many layers and. It's weird that Deathlap releases on a, such a big release day f for Arizona for Quest um, with basically no like notice. Like, and even I did some research. Like, there were like no gameplays, no, like pretty much just nothing on on the internet. Just some trailers, and that's it. Basically, no um, like release date. I don't know even. Yeah, I think they announced it via Twitter yesterday, they are releasing it today. Which is a little bit confusing, like, okay, where's the promotion stuff? When is like the, not hype, but like at least preparation, basic preparation. Uh, I don't know, but we'll be going into it today and uh, it's like I have high hopes for this game, but I I know that I shouldn't hope much because then it leads to a disappointment nearly every time in any case scenario. Alright, it's here. Let's go. <laughs> okay, just loading. <coughs> As we games, not familiar at all. Maybe their first ge VR game, I don't know. Okay, we get it. Oh. Whoa. Uh... <laughs> it's time for TV's most exciting hour of combat, Love collisions, and chaos. Welcome to the show, my little pistons. What? The? Where death and destruction blend raw horsepower and engine. I'm your most wonderful, marvelous, handsome host, Nitro C. Pain. What's happening? <laughs> okay. That's that's what? cute, Camilla. What's happened? The screen, it's off. What do you mean an issue with the screen? You morons! I will shut you off. I will shut you all off. Okay. Sorry, I uh, just had to solve some problems. That's better, isn't it? Welcome back! My show is my one true masterpiece. 
The product of a career spent chasing the sound barrier and winning races the world around. Seems like it's based also on the concept of Death Race, I think. It's the movie, right? I'm not familiar, but I feel like it. Okay, uh, let's go into settings for sure, and uh, we need to change the thing. So, we're obviously getting... Camera strongly follows the vehicle orientation, you can play seated. You will not need to turn your body, but you will fear cars every twist and turn. Okay, recommended for most players. Camera loosely follows the vehicle orientation. You can play seated, but you might need to turn your body a little. Okay, so I'm playing like... Full seated. Yeah, okay. Third person? Okay, let's just go for intense mode. Music needs to come down, I think. <laughs> I don't know. Let's turn just a little bit. Kinematic on direction. Okay, I guess we should. Good to go. Should we do a single player or multiplayer first? You know what? Actually, wait, back. Let's do a multiplayer because there are many people playing right now for sure because it's their launch title. So obviously we we wanna like uh, experience that with people. I don't know. Let's see. Uh, quick play. I don't know what I'm doing, there's no tutorial, it's just... It's just going in. Press the right trigger to select a vehicle. Um, which one seems fun? I mean, obviously this one, but I don't know if this is for me. Let's go with slick one. Victory. Lasers. Long range weapons. Okay, whatever. <laughs> As initial settings, probably try both types of control and choose the one that suits you best. Direction. God damn. Whoa. What's up? <laughs> My first race, I yeah, my same. Like I have no idea what is happening, and there's no tutorial. Let's see if it's like just a slight reminiscent of the old game, like Twisted Metal. I don't know if anyone remembers that. I got the quest. That's my first VR experience. Oh, okay, <laughs> that works too. Yeah. Oh, I'm sleeping for some reason. What I gotta push? There we go. A boom. My bad. Whoa. Oh, I'm going backwards. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> oh, that was not the acceleration. Wait. Oh, like wow. like that maybe. Okay. Uh, I thought the finish or beginning starting line. Wow. Oh, first thing, first thing the Sure. <laughs> I can drive. Okay, I pretty much I <laughs> what? Okay, pretty much I had to leave because my ears were just like fucking destroyed from someone's microphone or whatever. I don't know if something was wrong or whatever, 
but uh, I don't know. Let's uh, start again. I'm not sure how how anything works. Like I know steering now, kinda, kinda. Way. <laughs> Fuck, man! It's confusing how awful you are at killing each other. It's a freaking laser, and that's it for the first lap. Come on, you go faster! Oh, okay. Wait, how am I? Oh, it's... <laughs> Jesus. Great shot. That kill was nah. Could do with more five. Jesus. Ah, oh, that works like that, okay. Get them. <laughs> While you're up there, put the moon from the sky. Again. Yes, people's rating. Ah, <laughs> that for last so that was interesting <laughs> I okay now I kinda know the mechanics kinda uh, we just need something to wait I wanna change the options to turn because I don't wanna turn with my um, controller with my face it's better way better so steer I think that's that will be that one, and again multiplayer, and I don't know, just quick play. Whoa, second. First, how? <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, 
play the game, baby. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Ah, come on. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Them. <laughs> I hear stuff behind me. <laughs> ah, come on. Good game, baby. Bam. Ha! Here's the next track, baby. Okay, Eli, I feel like I've had enough for now. Uh, uh, let me see something. Oh no, okay. Let's go back to the home screen. <laughs> I, f I feel a little bit overheaded. Like, it's a little bit intense. Like, uh, I mean, it's there's a lot of going on. Like, just in your face. Uh, I... I noticed there is a screen with controls, stuff like that, but there's no like instructions. Maybe like I was too, uh, like really just, uh, just in, in my head because I wanted to play this game like so much. So I just went with it. Um, but uh, let's see the small overview. Then uh, yeah, it it it's. It's the gameplay is all right. Like I mean, it's chaotic because there's a lot of going on on the tracks. Like uh, you can kill yourself. You, I feel like it would be way easier to play if I would actually know all the controls because I knew the for like going forward, steering, yeah, 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 shooting with uh, the rifle I discovered in the first track but then I saw the loading screen that th there was like a shield or whatever then I discovered there's a boost like there's a lot of shit happening so I would appreciate a little tutorial I mean maybe there was in single player but I just went to the multiplayer basically <laughs> uh, sorry if there was like the, the because there was some annoying shit uh, going on with someone's microphone or whatever i don't know what what was that but it was just persistent basically in every fucking match um but 
I guess I will see in the editing process if it will be annoying or not. It was definitely annoying to hear in my ears. That way I had to lower the volume. <laughs> like really low. I mean not low but yeah. And if it's something if it's if it if this game is something that I expected, yeah kinda. I would appreciate uh, yeah, I think more clearance up front about the mechanics would be pretty good because yeah, you just don't get any instructions at all. But uh, maybe there there is whatever. I think it's uh, trivial at this point though. Uh, the graphics look eh, okay. I mean, the effects are there. The immersion is definitely there, like, you really feel like you're in a ve ve like vehicle, just a car, a destruction derby and stuff. Uh, I feel like uh, it really depends on what immersion you put, uh, like, in the settings. Because I feel like if you put, like, comfortable settings and stuff like that, uh, because, you know, some people are, like, really uh, not... Uh, um, they're not really good with locomotion, right? Especially with uh, experiences in VR that are moving, but you are not moving, and especially in a sitting uh, uh, setting, right? I knew upfront that uh, I had to sit because uh, I played in the past games with a sitting experience. Uh, for example, I think the space uh, thingy, what was it called? Like, it was a... Uh, game to play in the space and you were like shooting stuff and space yeah in end space i knew immediately i had to sit because it can like make sense because you sit in a aircraft here and in this in the death lab you sit in a car right so naturally when you're playing vr game you should like mimic the same um i guess situation right i don't know <laughs> something like that um the mechanics seems fine. Each car has its own power, which is really like what was Twisted Metal really about. Uh, I feel like uh, it's a little bit limited in tracks. I saw some tracks. I mean, I played just like 20 minutes or something, or maybe half an hour, whatever. <laughs> uh, but like... Uh, yeah, like one match would be, how long should we say, three minutes? If you are not dying constantly, like me, <laughs> like I basically finished last every match and like one match, like fourth, whatever. <laughs> and the second, I think, too. What? I was so bad, I don't know. <laughs> I feel like people uh, played this game before me, <laughs> even though it's the lunch day. But I just sucked. I, let's just straight up that. Uh, uh, I feel like this game would be really uh, fun to play with someone, or unlike with people. And you have multiplayer, which is cool. I mean, the one track has like what six players overall, which is yeah, which is pretty packed for the size of the track that you are playing. Yeah, that makes sense. Six is, I think, enough in enough setting that you have like destruction like happening on the field which is fine yeah i think six is fine um i mean this is a multiplayer game i think purely i don't think single player would be really that uh, um what you should be looking forward i feel like right uh when i remember like twisted model days uh, i mean you were playing obviously against pc uh, but I feel like this game would be uh, really fun if you would play with someone you know or whatever. But you can play online with multiplayer, yeah. Like, that's that is just how it is. So I would summarize this game as uh, another fun, I guess, multiplayer game, right? This is finally, I mean, not the first of its kind. I think there was some shitty car game, like, on the release of Quest initial. But it was like just like out of any <laughs> any people's reach, uh, so we w we should consider this game as a first uh, like actually uh, unique uh, game 
uh, as a racing uh, simulator, basically, but with a twist of destroying people. So th this pretty much hit the mark, I would say. It's not like amazing, I think. Uh, maybe I played it not uh, that long, uh, but like first impression is fine. Yeah, there's nothing much uh, to say about it because I played multiplayer, but I mean, with an interactions with other people and some shitty microphone from the other person, uh, it was an okay experience and I I look forward to play this more, I think. For a 20 euro game, it's it's okay, yeah. Not mind-blowing, but uh, it's hitting uh, the player base that it should. So people who enjoy uh, this type of games should really uh, play that, yeah, because it's fun. I would look forward to, to multiplayer, not really the uh, single player stuff, but maybe single player I will play too and, and see what's up with that. <coughs> maybe there's actually a tutorial there. Okay, whatever, I'm just rambling at this point and it, good release overall. Uh, yeah, well, yay. <laughs>